Hey family, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a huge spring and summer haul for you guys. If you liked anything that you saw today, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below what your favorite piece was. Before I begin, I wanted to share with you my sizing. I'm usually a 10, 12 on bottom or a large, and I'm usually a large on top. Sometimes I do mediums, which you'll see in some of the pieces that I show you. But without further ado, let's begin. So this first thing that I'm showing you is a free people jumpsuit. I absolutely love this. It's great for a cover up, great for a night out when you add heels, great with chunky sneakers. I love that you can cinch in the waist to just give you that snatched look. I love the wide legged pants at the bottom, super flowy, super airy, great for summer. It is a little bit on the thicker side. So if that's something that's a deal breaker, I wouldn't recommend it, but I actually love it. Next up is another jumpsuit from Free People. I love this one. It's great for my bigger chested ladies as it has adjustable straps as well as a keyhole that you can make as big or as small as you'd like. You can also tie it in the back to adjust it so you can make it as tight or as loose as you'd like. As you guys can see, it has an elastic waistband, so it's great for uh, a night out for dinner. If you get a food baby, there's no need to worry because you'll be able to breathe in this. Here's a close-up of the item. I love it. I love how stretchy it feels. It's super comfortable and flowy. And as you can see, I don't have to wear a bra with this. For reference, I am a 36D and I love it. It's so comfy. Following that, I have a top from Free People. I would consider this an elevated basic. It's kind of like a tank top, but with an intricate twist. I love that I don't have to wear a bra with this, and you can adjust it in the back with this tie, so you can make it as tight or as loose as you'd like. You can also adjust the fabric in the back. So as you saw, I kind of scrunched it together where I tied it, but you can obviously loosen it up and spread it out. You can also adjust how you wear it on the shoulders. So if you want more of like an off the shoulder look, you can do that and I'll show you um, in a bit. And, or you can wear it how I am right now. Next up is another tank from Free People. This one's cropped, hits me right above my belly button. For reference, I am 5'4". I got it in black because I think that goes with everything. And yeah, it's another elevated tank. I love the detail in the middle. It's like a seam that goes down, which gives it like a scrunched effect. A racer back tank at the back. I don't have to wear a bra with this, so of course uh, that's a plus for me. And with this tank, I paired my Abercrombie and Fitch shorts. These are called the 7-inch seam dad shorts. They're in a light wash, which I really like for summer. Like a light to medium wash, I would say. They are high rise, which I love. As you can see, I got them in a size 12. And they fit me pretty good, not too tight and not too loose. I really love the waistband, which is what drew me to buy these. As you can see, it goes higher in some areas and low at the other. It's super high-waisted, so I would definitely wear a tank like I am here or something very cropped so that the waistband can be seen. They're pretty comfortable, and I love how long they are. So here I have another pair of Abercrombie & Fitch shorts. These are also called dad shorts. These are just a little bit shorter. They are still high-waisted. I like this wash. It's like a medium wash, and I love the minimal distressing that it has. The front of the shorts are a little bit longer than the back, which I enjoy because obviously in the back I want more coverage anyway. These shorts are perfect for an everyday look. Obviously you can pair it like I am here with a tank or you can even wear it with a bikini top to the beach and some sandals. Next up are my last pair of shorts from Abercrombie & Fitch. These are the 4 inch seam mom shorts. I love them because of the split as you can see at the bottom there. The hem of the shorts is really good. There's a little bit of distressing, it's not overly done. And I also really like the wash of these shorts. They're like a medium to darker wash. These are literally an everyday basic. You can wear them as I am here with just a tank and some sneakers or sandals. I would wear this on like an errand run. They're super comfortable, especially on those super hot days when you feel like you don't wanna wear anything. They're super stretchy and just very comfortable to wear. So next up, I got these pair of shorts from Abercrombie & Fitch. They are a trouser-like short with pleats at the front. They are a light blue color. I believe they come in different colors. This is just the one that they had in my size. I think I actually wanted it in white or like khaki, but they didn't have it in my size. So I opted for this light blue and I'm really happy with it. 
definitely very spring summer color i got a medium in this because the review said that it runs large and i'm happy that i got a medium because it fits perfectly on me super great super lightweight can be dressed up or down the last piece that i got from abercrombie and fitch are these cargo pants in a light green color they have four pockets in total. I believe the back pockets are fake, but I love the detail anyway. I really love these cargos because you can actually adjust the hem of these pants. As you can see, there's string at the bottom near my feet. So you can make them as tight or as loose as you want. Love these. They're super comfortable. Give me Y2K 90s vibe for sure. Next up is H&M. Here I have a crochet top that's super great for those really hot summer days when you feel like you're melting. This is great for that because there's holes so if there's any type of breeze you'll definitely feel it in this top. I love it, it's super chic. Definitely also can be worn as a cover up to the beach and I paired it with these pants that are also from H&M. They're wide legged and they're beige. I love these but I would definitely recommend sizing down as they do stretch throughout the day and become bigger which can be fixed as you wash and dry them, but I would just keep that in mind if that's something that you don't like. I also got them in this brown color, which I really like, but these are in a size 14, and as you can see, they're pretty big on me, but they didn't have my size, and I really wanted it, so I just bought them. And I just wash them and dry them, and they get back to being a little bit tighter. Obviously, they stretch throughout the day, but nothing that a belt can fix, right? Next up, we have these beautiful beige shorts that have an elastic waistband. They also have pockets and they're the perfect length for me. For reference, I am 5'4". They are lightweight, airy, super flowy. I don't have to worry about how thick they are in reference to jean shorts. I know sometimes I get tired of my jean shorts and I want something a little bit lighter for those really hot summer days. So these are a great alternative. I would wear, probably wear this as a beach cover-up or a, a night out with the girlies. I can just pair them with some heels. So obviously very versatile. They are a bit see-through, so if that's something that you don't like, I wouldn't recommend these. But overall, they fit me really well. I believe I got these in a size large, but remember to check down below for the different sizes. For a night out in the town, I got this mid-length skirt that has a slit on the side and it has strings attached to it that you can tie around your waist as you see here. It is on the stretchy side, so if you wanted it to size down for a more snatched look, you can definitely do so. I didn't want it to be too tight on me, so I got a size large. It has this glittery kind of scratchy material on the outside, but it is lined on the inside, so it's super comfortable. I love this for a night out with the girls or on date night, it's super sexy. You can also just hide the strings from the waistband and wear this with sneakers for a more casual vibe. Here's a close up of the skirt, I don't know if you guys can see the glitter but it's there. It's just super nice and I love it. It's super lightweight too, it's not very thick so it's perfect for summer. Next is this metallic green dress that hits me right above my knee perfect for work it has an elastic uh, sleeve hem as you can see so if you want to lift up the sleeve and make the sleeve shorter you can do that the back is also a little bit adjustable as you can tie the top portion of it so you can tie it as tight or as loose as you'd like i think that also helps with how low cut the dress is so if you're fuller chested that's a, a way that you can adjust the dress I love this for work, it's super airy, super flowy, great for those hot summer days. As you can see, there's a pattern here, I don't like to wear a lot when it's really hot outside. <laughs> so that was the intention of buying this dress. I think it's a little bit sheer, so I would just keep that in mind if you do decide to buy this. There are no pockets unfortunately, but that's okay with me. Next up is this jumpsuit that comes in this light green color. It has buttons that go all the way down so you can have it open or closed it also comes with a string attached to it so you can snatch up that waist obviously it's short sleeve and the pants are like a straight legged pant kind of vibe i love this for when you don't know what to wear because obviously it's a one piece it's super lightweight so it's perfect for those hot days you can dress this up or down so very versatile and honestly it's just super nice 
Unfortunately, the only pockets this have is the back pockets, which is a bummer. But I liked it too much to return, so it's just something that I'm going to have to deal with. Now, I know what you're thinking. Haiti, this is literally not a summer piece, and you guys are right. But it was on sale, and I have to think about all the four seasons that happened in New York City. So I bought this sweater. I just loved the mixed material. It's a mix between nylon and this kind of ribbed material that has the tiniest bit of distressing. I love it. It's so comfortable definitely great for those really cold winter days the only thing is the sleeves are a bit long on me but i don't mind that oversized kind of look it's also a bit cropped i just love its structure i just think it's super cool and definitely can wear with many different things next up is just a basic tank that comes in this beige color i love it you can obviously dress this up or down i just needed more casual things in my wardrobe so i thought i would pick this up as well So with this tank top, I paired it with these new jeans that I also got from H&M. I love these jeans so much. They are so flattering on me. I believe I got these in a size 12 as well. The waistband fits me perfectly and they're wide-legged. I feel like that's such a trend right now, a trend that I'm currently loving because it just fits my body type so well. I love this because it can be dressed up or down. You can dress them up with a pair of heels. Even this outfit is so basic, but you can dress it up with heels or you can dress them down with, you know, a chunky pair of sneakers. Add some different accessories and you're good to go. They come in this like medium wash and they're not too thick. So they're actually good for those summer nights that are a little bit breezy. Next up, I got this crop top. It's super cool. I love the detail on this. It's kind of like an illusion shirt. It's giving me illusion vibes as the polka dots get bigger towards the middle of the shirt. I'm not wearing a bra with this and I feel comfortable with it. I also love the colors that it has. It has like this pastel orange and this kind of purpley pink fuchsia color. I actually have sneakers that have that kind of orange in it. So I was like that would pair perfectly with them. And I just think this top is something that you can use to elevate your style. Kind of like how I'm wearing it here with a simple pair of jeans. If I wore this with sneakers, it's kind of just giving me cool girl vibes instead of just wearing a basic tank. Keeping it with the cool colors, I got this long sleeve button down that comes in this super bright orange color. I love this as a way to bring a pop of color into the wardrobe. As you can see, there's a bit of spacing where the buttons are, so I actually returned this and got a larger size. This is in a size large, and I got an extra large, which helped with the spacing where the buttons are. It was a lot closed up. I wore a beige bronze underneath because it is a bit sheer, but if that's something that you don't care about, obviously you don't have to wear one. I just love that it can be adjusted according to you know, how much you want to show, so you can unbutton all of them and just wear it as like an outer piece or just button a few of the buttons like I am here and wear it this way. It is in like this kind of velvety textured, so it's super soft, perfect for those kind of breezy nights where you don't want to like layer up because it's kind of still hot in summer, but definitely want to wear something that's long sleeve. I love the orange one so much that I got it in beige. This one's short sleeve. This one is actually in an extra large. As you can see, there is still some spacing where the buttons are, but it's not as much as the orange top. Again, you can wear this opened all the way up with no buttons and wear a bralette underneath. I think that would be really cute. Or you can wear it as I am here with just a few buttons buttoned. I think this is a summer piece staple, super casual, a piece that can be dressed up or down. Next is this vest that has a zipped collar. You can zip it all the way up to give you a turtleneck kind of vibe the vest is opened on the side so as you can see there's no material there which is great for a simple layering piece when it's super windy outside or when we're transitioning from summer to fall it's in this light beige color and i think it's so cool it's such a staple and vests were so popular last year and i feel like it will be again this year you can tuck it in as you can see as i'm doing it here for a more preppy look or preppy vibe or you can kind of just leave it layered out and I liked this piece so much that I actually got it in a taupe color as well. It's just a great layering piece. You can literally wear this with anything and it would look good. 
next we have this ribbed tank just simple everyday wear here i'm actually not wearing a bra it's v-neck in the front and back which i like because then you can see a little bit more of my tattoo there just super basic i thought this would be a staple for summer especially on those summer hot days where i feel like i just want to feel the breeze the little that there is anyways <laughs> Over this, I'm adding a cardigan that I thought would be perfect for those chilly summer nights. Also a great essential piece to transition us into fall later on in the season. I love it. I think this is as close as I can get to a Kate dupe. I love that cardigan. If you know, you know. But this is obviously a dupe, very affordable option. It doesn't have pockets, unfortunately, like the Kate one does, but I think it'll do for now. I love the buttons. It kind of has the different tortoiseshell colors, and I love this color. It's kind of a beige, but a darker tone, and it's pretty thick, so it's definitely for those breezier days for sure, but a great transition piece nonetheless. Next up, we have this off-the-shoulder top. You can wear it on your shoulders like so, but I like to wear it off the shoulders. It's super lightweight, so it's great for those super hot summer nights when you're going to be sweating in the club and you don't really want to wear anything. This is the perfect top for you. You can dress it up or down, so I love the versatility. Because it's such a girly piece, I would add shorts and sneakers just to make it more edgy and more casual, but you can also dress it up like I am here with jeans and some heels. Another crop top that I got was this one. It says Los Angeles in the front. It's definitely giving me race car vibes with the different colored shoulders. I like that it's white and beige because I can just pair it with other neutrals that I have in my wardrobe for a more casual look. And it's just a basic piece that can be worn in so many different ways. Now this next piece I actually had to return just due to how it fit on me. I think if you were smaller chested, this would be a great going out piece. The gaping on the sides, as you see there, just wasn't vibing with me. I didn't like that. If it was kind of like more flat out, like how I'm trying to do it with my fingers there, I think it would look better. But unfortunately, it just wasn't it for me. I thought it was still very beautiful, but it just didn't fit me the way I wanted. And I really wanted it to have it just because it was open back. There were only two chains holding the top together. And I do like open backs just because my tattoo does go all the way down my back. And so it would just show that really nicely. But unfortunately, it just wasn't it. Now this next piece might not be for everyone because it's see-through, but I love it. I feel like it's an elevated basic with the cinching right there on the shoulders. You can make the shoulders as long or as short as you'd like. I've worn this open with a bralette and some shorts and sandals for a more basic look. But you can have the buttons undone a little bit and wear it with some slacks and heels for a night out with a bralette underneath. I think it's just so cute and I love it for summer. Last piece that I got from H&M are these pants. They're super lightweight, super flowy. The only thing I would complain about is that because they're so lightweight, they are see-through. Even if I wear underwear, you can kind of see them and it doesn't matter like if it's nude or something. I would have to wear like a seamless thong for it to really not show. So because of that, I have worn it with a longer t-shirt so that you don't see that portion or even with like a peplum top. But I still love them they're super great for summer just because they are lightweight and flowy which is something that we need in this hot heat next is this express top or bodysuit rather that i got from the outlet store it was pretty inexpensive i think i paid maybe 18 to 20 dollars for each of them i got them in three different colors the first color that i'm showing you guys now is in this beige color i'm not wearing a bra with this it's super stretchy very comfortable i believe i got this in a medium but i will double check and leave the sizing down below I got the same bodysuit in this kind of baby pink color. Again, super stretchy. I think I got this one in a small because they didn't have a medium or large. I feel like I got the last size of this, but I really like the color, so I was like, let me just get it. It is a little bit tighter on me, but I don't mind that. Again, I'm not wearing a bra with it, and it's pretty comfortable. The last color that I got is in this red brick color. Out of all three bodysuits, I feel like I love this color the most just because it goes so well with my complexion, especially as I get darker in the summertime. And also I feel like this one is the best to transition for fall. I would highly recommend these. They are so, so comfortable and I love them so much.
Next, we're moving on to shoes. These are the New Balance 530s. I actually got this from Depop. If you haven't heard of Depop, it's a secondhand consignment store online. People just sell their pieces and you are able to buy from them. I really loved this color and I tried looking everywhere for them and they were sold out. I don't even think they have it on the New Balance website anymore. But I love this because I don't have any cream sneakers and these are perfect for summer and even for any other season because they are such a neutral staple so i will definitely be getting a lot of wear out of these sneakers next in the shoe department we have these chunky heels that i got from asos i will link them down below i got these in my regular size i am a size 9 i wore them the first time and they were a little bit uncomfortable but as you wear them the faux leather does stretch out and so now they're super comfortable to wear i love these for a night out in the town because they are now comfortable they don't really hurt my feet as a stiletto would and so i would just wear them one day when you know you're not going to be moving around a lot just to stretch it out and then after that they are perfectly fine Another black heel that I got from ASOS are these. I was drawn to these only because of the thicker strap that you see on the opposite side of the big toe. I thought that was very interesting. I would definitely consider this as an elevated basic just because of the design. I do like that they're squared toe. They are pretty comfortable. I have only worn them once though, so we can see how comfortable they are with more wear to them. But overall, I would highly recommend. They are a little bit taller than I would usually wear but you know i'm only 5'4 so i'll take as much height as i can get <laughs> these are the last heels from asos and unfortunately i had to return them there was some gaping on the side where those straps are and i didn't like that and so unfortunately i had to return those also they weren't very comfortable so i am on the hunt for some new white heels that's all from this haul i hope you guys enjoyed